Hello world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to CodingScientist.com. We are on lesson number 42. In this lesson, I am going to show you how to configure your OLED node using ROS on your JetBot. Through the ROS command, how you can trigger the, L the messages on your L OLED screen, which is on your JetBot. Okay, so what we need to do is just open up a terminal let me <coughs> excuse me let me show you okay i am connected to my jetson nano on jetbot terminal is open and we got to of course go to our manual to look for the command and what we need to be installing there you go i just copied it i am going to put this command to make the entire package ready <coughs> for the JetBot and ROS to read the OLED. All right. <coughs> Let's check unable to register with master node. Okay, I got what is the issue. Let me go back. Let me control shift T. What you need to do. Let me close this previous terminal okay run the raw score raw score so that your master is open there you go it's successful now control shift t do not close the main terminal guys open a new terminal control shift t and then you paste the command which we copied from the manual for the oled.py All right, nothing is happening, which is a good news. Now open another terminal without closing this one and the ROS master ROS core uh, uh, terminal. Control shift T. We are on a new, new terminal. Now let's go to the next command. So here what we are sending a message called hello to your OLED screen so basically we are publishing a topic we are sending a, a message and let's see what happens okay it's going to send a message once let me check it's publishing for three seconds okay I think it should be let me check my Jetson Nano I hope you guys can see. Yes, I can see that hello being displayed on the top. I think it's not pretty clear in this video, but I can see it. All right, so this is how it is, guys. So you can actually publish anything what you want to the LED, to the OLED screen display. So this is also going to display your nodes and how many nodes are running, all those things, customization you can do on your Python file so let's see what we are going to do now what we need to do uh, all right so i think that's it guys for this lesson it's a pretty uh, short one i just want to quickly show you how you can activate uh, start ross node just to activate your oled uh, on your jetbot so i'm going to get back in the next lesson very soon goodbye